What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make money online with a big trend that's popping off right now. So you guys are always ask me for new stuff to this channel, and this is a new method and strategy to this channel that we haven't talked about before. Now I personally know one guy that's made over seven figures doing this, and he showed me the ropes and stuff like that. And I know a few other people who are also making money with this strategy, and it works extremely well. But it's one of those strategies that's trending right now, and it will eventually drop off in the future. So if you are looking to make money online, you're gonna wanna check this out right now because it could be a good method for you to go and make some money online. Now, as I mentioned, this is trending. And if you know anything about the online internet space and making money, the most money is made usually when there's something new that's come along or it's trending. So you can either jump on the boat or you can miss the boat and wait for the next thing, but I highly recommend you watch this video all the way to the end to check out this method, to see what it is, and to see if you like it. And the best part about this method is you won't need to spend any money on starting a website for this, so you won't need to actually go and pay for hosting and have your own personal website. Now before we get into this guys, once again we're going to have the emoji in this video. You find that emoji, most of you guys know about this, you find that emoji, you comment below the emoji, plus cash or plus course for whatever you want in this giveaway, okay? We're giving away some cash or a course and the winners from the last one will be in the pinned comment in this video. And if you want free videos every single week on how to make money online, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button and tap that notification bell so my next video comes out. Let's jump into this video and I'll show you exactly how you can make money online. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make money from a huge trend that's going on right now. Now the most important thing about trends is if you catch them at the right time, you can make a lot of money and this is called Google Trends. You can go to Google Trends and you can put in specific keywords and you can find trending topics. Now the best thing about Google is it actually tells you what specific countries these um, niches, ideas or keywords are actually the most popular in at this point of time and we can really use this data to make money online. So we'll actually come back to this in a second, but I'll explain to you how we can use this to make money online with this particular method. Now, if you wanna know what we're talking about, we're actually talking about face mask. And you guys probably know that these are extremely popular right now, and there's an opportunity to make pretty good money doing this. But you might be thinking, how do I do this? How could I sell face masks? What do I need to do? What's the right steps? Do I need to have a store? Well, it's actually not very difficult. What you actually need to do is go to a website called redbubble.com. And I'll show you another website in a second that you could also use. If I click on mask right here and I go to all mask, you'll see that there's loads of masks that people are buying from these websites. And here's another one here. If I put in mask, this is called Etsy. If I put in mask, you'll see that there's people selling hundreds, thousands. Look at all of, look at all of these reviews. 2,000 reviews, 2,000, 4,000 reviews, 4,000 reviews, 2,000 reviews, 4,000 reviews on these particular websites. People are selling these products and making extremely good money by doing it. And the best part is, is they don't actually need their own product to do this. What they're doing is they're utilizing a method called print on demand where these websites actually go out and send the product for you. All you do is you put the design on it. So if we go to um, this one, for example, this Banksy one, you'll see that they, they do everything. So they have the images for you. They have um, all of the stuff down here and you can also put it on other products. But everything's here and I can go to add to cart and I can purchase from this um, red bubble store. It's really, really good. And then I actually have it in my cart right now and I could literally check out and purchase this product. And not only that, red bubble gets literally millions of views every single month of people looking to purchase products online. So there is a lot of money to be made, and especially with this trend really boosting up right now, you can really take advantage of making some money right now. So the first step you need to do is you need to go and sign up to your own Redbubble account. Now I'm signed into my account. If you don't have one um, already, there'll be a button up here on the right somewhere that will say create your account. You create your account, you put your payout method in, so like PayPal, and then once you've created your account, come back to Etsy, uh, sorry, come back to Redbubble and go up to here and then go to add new work. 
And what we're going to be doing is actually kind of like creating our own store for these masks that we're going to go and send people to to make money from. So I'm going to go. Um, so you might be actually also asking is how do you go out there and get these designs? So all you need to literally do is upload a design and this website does the rest for you. Now you can go to a website called um, pixels.com and you can actually find. Uh, so if I go dogs, you can actually find um, images that you can use to upload to these these websites as designs. And I've actually downloaded one that we can use in this example. But if we go down here, you can put on images of dogs, people, anything, right? You can put on cartoons. It doesn't really matter. But what you also want to do is you want to go down to the bottom here. Um, it keeps re or licenses, sorry, at the top here. So go to the licenses section on whatever website you get these images from. And just make sure that you are allowed to use them to sell. Some people do not let you do that. So you need to double check that you can actually do that. Or if you're not sure, go to fiverr.com and put in face mask. And you can actually pay people to create awesome face mask designs for you. Okay, so that's how you can get designs. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to simply go and upload an image that I got from uh, pixels.com. Okay, so I'm going to go to upload new work and I'm going to upload this little image that I found. Now you want to do a title and a description. Okay, so the title is going to be um, cute dog face mask. Pretty generic stuff, but people will probably click on it. Cute, <laughs> cute dog face mask. Now I'm also going to put in a description real quick and then I'll come back. Now I've put a quick description here, but keep in mind you need to do your own. I'm not going to do a big description right now because this is just a tutorial showing you how to set this up. Um, but it's really, really cool. And you probably want to put some tags in. So face mask because tags is um, people can actually find these on. So I'll just put face mask and face mask. Um, but people can find these by searching on Redbubble, but I'm also going to show you another traffic source, the best traffic source to use to get traffic to these, this strategy. Now you want to go down and you want to disable all of this other stuff because really you, you can go and sell t-shirts and that sort of stuff, but we're not trying to do that. We're trying to just sell these masks. So I'm going to disable all of this stuff here. All right, so you want to disable everything until you get to the mask where it says new and you want to... Um, Make, where it says it'll say enable you want to make sure it's enabled and you want to go to edit and you want to edit this and you want to position it just like that but most importantly you want to go to the little settings tab here and you want to click mask kids mask and small mask and you can actually put in the markup for your price so this is essentially you're going to be a middleman so my markup is going to be 20 percent i'm going to make 20 percent profit margins on this product so if you want to make more you can do 30 percent or you could do 25%. And as you see, it increases the product price. Okay, so the percentage, the markup on the right is how much you're going to make per sale. Now you want to scroll down and you want to go to advanced products and you want to go to, um, you want to make sure it says enabled and you want to go to edit and you want to make sure this is lined up good. And you also want to go to the little settings tab and you want to go fitted three layer. You're going to make sure that's ticked. And you want to put your markup in as well. 20% is pretty good. And then go to apply changes. Then you want to scroll down and click this box here and go save work. Oh, and make sure this is um, on no and go save work. And then just let it process and do its thing. And then we'll come back. All right, so now we've created that. You can actually go up to here. And there's a few things you can do. You can go to view, view shop. You can go to manage portfolio dashboard. And you've got lots of options. Um, you'll have a shop and essentially you're creating a shop with products. So you might want to upload a few, but it really just depends on what type of traffic source you're sending to this. But if I go to my managed portfolio, you'll see that here is the product that I just um, uploaded. Let's do a refresh, get rid of that. Here's a product that I just uploaded. You can go to view it and you can edit it here. You can copy settings. You can go to promote products. You can do anything you want here. On this page, you can get links to specific products that you want to promote. So let me just get my text document up here um, because I want to take one of these links. I'm going to take this link here, fitted three layer. I'm going to go copy link. Um, I actually, maybe we'll try view product page and it should come up here. Yep, so here we go, view product page. We have our product here. 
that we can now promote. So somebody can come here and they can choose the specific product that they want, so the specific type, and then they can um, choose the size, and then they can add it to cart, and if they make a purchase, you're gonna make some money, 20, 30, 40%. But now you might be asking yourself, how do you actually get traffic to this? Now this brings us back to the trending tab from before. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy this right here, okay? And you wanna paste that link into here. Okay, this is gonna be the link that we're gonna send traffic to. Now you can go and use a link shortener online and you can shorten this link if you want. That's up to you. But this is your product here, okay? Now the design wise, really you should probably use someone from Fiverr and get a nice, good, proper design that's eye-catching and everything like that like this one straight out of lockdown, that's pretty cool. That could be copyright, but you probably wanna go and get a proper design done for this. So we're gonna go back here and we can actually notice that we can go and target specific countries that are trending the most. That the, the Google's literally telling us exactly what country needs these masks the most. So we can actually utilize this. And what's the best way to do this? The best way to do this and the best way to utilize these stats is to go over to a paid advertising platform. Now, in this case, I'm going to suggest Pinterest because it's an extremely good um, advertising platform for visual images, okay? Because we don't want to create videos or anything like that. So go to um, pinterest.com business and then hub if you have a Pinterest account and then go to um, ads and create an ad, okay? We want to create an ad. Now, you might be also wondering um, is what, how do we actually create an ad? So let me, let me take you through the steps, okay? You, you can um, do drive conversions if you set up a, so what you'll do is you'll set up a um, Pinterest tag on your product, okay? So essentially you'll set up a Pinterest tag so Pinterest can track conversions. If you wanna do that, you can go and find a tutorial online. But if you want, you can just do traffic, okay? And then put in a campaign name dog mask and then go to continue now this is the power of this type of stuff okay i can go down and i can go animals animals and i can go down to uh, mammals and dogs and i can target people specifically that are interested in dogs and more importantly four million people and we can actually put in keywords if we want we don't have to put in keywords but we can actually go down to specific locations. So we know that United Kingdom is just needs masks right now, right? So we can go down to here and we can put in United Kingdom. And we can target the United Kingdom. Now the interest and in stuff is really gonna be up to you. Um, if, if you put just interest, it's just gonna show your ad to people who are interested in dogs and you don't need keywords, okay? You don't really need keywords to do this. So don't bother with that. But if you wanna get more specific, then you can put in keywords. But we're gonna go down and we've chosen um, United Kingdom, okay? Or you could put other countries in like United States, Canada, whatever you want. I would put in these top five, probably would be a good idea. Then we're gonna go down and we're going to um, leave all of this on. We're gonna let it do what it, what it does. And we're gonna put our budget at just 20 bucks, okay? You wanna start off slow to build up and try and get some sales. At $20, I would ex be expecting at least one sale a day, and then I can scale up from there. And then I'm gonna to go to create a pin. You might be wondering, how do I create a pin? If you actually go to this website here called canva.com, this is a free website that you can use. I'm gonna put in Pinterest. Pinterest pin. And what I'm actually gonna do is just um, create, find a random pin. So I'm just gonna go with this one here. You wanna get something that's vibrant and stands out, okay? So they've actually got a video. I'm gonna delete that. We don't want a video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my website and I'm gonna just copy this image here, okay? By using the little screenshot tool that I have. I'm gonna go back to here and I'm going to um, drag it on. So you just copy and paste until it goes on top. And I'm just gonna put something like cute dog mask, okay? You would put something probably a lot better than that. This is just 
for this tutorial. So cute dog mask. Click here or buy now or something. Put on a call to action to get people to click. You can actually do that by going to something like elements and putting on a button and you can tell someone to click here, but that's got a watermark. So we're gonna take that away. And now I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna to go to download. And I've got this image that I can now use in a Pinterest pin. Now, remember, you will need to create a proper Pinterest pin. This is just for an example. You could actually probably use Fiverr for that as well. Now, what I'm gonna do here is go back to Pinterest and I'm gonna drag my pin in. This is it here. And I'm gonna add a title, get your, and I'm gonna grab um, this link. This is the link that I'm gonna to use to promote this product. So add destination link at the bottom. And then you can tell people what pin, what your pin is about. I don't really worry about that with advertising because it's not really needed. I only use descriptions when I do, um, uh, when, I'm, when I'm trying to get organic traffic on Pinterest. And then I just go um, publish this pin. And it's gonna publish this pin on my profile. Then I can use it for my advertising. And now you can start running this ad and you can start running ads to this particular pin so you can get traffic to that link and people could potentially purchase that mask from you. Don't forget to check all your information, okay? Check the country that you wanted to choose. So I put in um, United Kingdom, but I think it's gone. Or something. Yeah, so United Kingdom. Check everything's right. Check your gr ad group name is correct. So cute dog. And then go and run this ad to the product that you just uploaded to this website. Now, you only really need to un un uh, upload one product to start with because you're only gonna be sending traffic to that specific link. You're not gonna be sending traffic to your entire store right now because you just want to go and um, get sales to this. Now, if you optimize your descriptions properly and all that sort of stuff, so they've actually put features in, so they've automatically put features in for you. But if you go and optimize the description properly, you'll actually show up in the mask section automatically. And as you get more sales, you'll also show up as well. So you'll get organic sales and traffic from Redbubble who get millions of views per month. All right, guys, that's a great way that you can go and utilize trends right now and find what's working right now in the marketplace and how you can make money online. If you want to see some of my other favorite ways to make money online, I'll leave some videos up on the screen that will take you through step by step how you can make money online and start your own business. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, tap that notification bell, any comments, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video.